talking about repentance. Y'all sit down. I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you need to repent. You need to make a decision to quit it. You need to make a decision to get through with it. And stop seesawing back and forth. If you're over it, get over it. You weren't born with it. You can live without it. You ain't the only single person in the world. You ain't the only single mama. Half the people in here are single parents. You ain't the only one that somebody did something wrong to. Get over it. Stop harboring your weakness and get over it. Repent. Holler back. Repent. Sit in. My people in the church. Been in church for 10 years. Still holding on to something. Is you crazy? Do you think it take God 10 years to get you out of anything? I said, do you think it takes God 10 years to get you out of sin? My father was a habitual smoker for 45 years. When he gave his heart to the Lord in two weeks, he stopped drinking, smoking, and chasing women. You just need to repent. Oh, y'all don't want to hear no talk. You know, I came for you today. I can't, I'm so glad you're here. You in it because you want to be. You hang with them because you want to hang with them. Because as soon as you cut them loose, they going to cut you loose and talk about you while they cutting you loose. But I'd rather you talk about me and let me get over you so that I don't have to receive the judgment of God. Talk about me, honey. Talk. When one really repents, y'all said, Ted, you change your attitude. And with that change of attitude <laughs> is a change of mindset. And with that change of mindset, there is a change in your lifestyle. That's why nobody don't believe you say, you talk Christian. You don't walk Christian. And there's a big difference in a talk Christian. Lord have mercy. And a walk Christian. That's why folk are confused about you. Because you say one thing. But your lifestyle does not measure up with your big mouth talk. So we don't know who you are. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yes, we do. You know how you can tell you got rodents? You don't have to see the mice. You know how you know you got r mice? Because they leave droppings. They leave drippings and they got an odor with them. So we hear you talking about God and talking Christian, but we looking at you dropping. So you really ain't fooling anybody because there's a trail behind you and it stinks. It's just like Israel when God told them your sacrifices are stinking. Because you got too many droppings. You talk Christian, but you ain't walking Christian. 
You need to change your lifestyle. And you need to do it today. Before God sends a judgment. Now here's real prophecy right here. See y'all don't even know real prophecy when you hear. Here it is. I ain't talking about no car. I ain't talking about no Mercedes. I ain't talking about no five bedroom house. I'm talking about sin. Here's prophecy. I'm prophesying good right now. I'm prophesying. I ain't talking about you being no millionaire. I ain't talking about you getting... No, here's, here's real prophecy right now. Sin is a reproach against God. Give me a hand for prophecy. Here go another prophecy. You better straighten yourself up and you better come out of sin before God sends a judgment in your life and tear down everything that you are trying to build up. You better repent. Give me a hand for prophecy. Sit, sit. If you still doing the same old, same old, that you've been doing since you got saved. If you walk out of these doors and still smoke it. If you walk out of here and still drink it. If you walk out of here and still sleep with him or her or a combination of both. If you walk out of here and still say it, if you leave here and go straight to it, if you walk out and still play it, you have not repented from it. I know, I know I'm after work, it's okay. You'll never dance and jump up in here. And say you never heard about repentance.